Um, yeah, so thanks for that intro, Mo. I'm, I'm going to do this pretty briefly. I think many of the folks on the call um, have either seen a previous update um, on the um, NIH Systems Interoperation um, uh, Working Group um, or, or you, you've been on the call itself and, and working um, together um, with us on that. So I'll just do a quick five minute intro um, and an update of where we stand with the group and kind of a little bit forward looking with the, the, the next meeting uh, uh, coming up in April. All right, let's see. Um, so the NIH uh, Systems Interoperation Working Group. This was uh, a group created as part of the outcome of the NIH workshop on cloud-based uh, platforms interoperability uh, held at RENSI back in October. Um, the group's uh, charter establishes our mission. So the first thing we did is we sat down and said, okay, we want to work together across groups. Um, let's put together a charter of who's working on what and what are our overall goals. And the, the goal for the group is really to spearhead sort of technical improvements um, to cloud stacks. Um, these are the Kids First Data Resource Center, the CRDC, Anvil, Biodata Catalyst, um, to spearhead improvements that will um, facilitate interoperability. Um, and the idea was that we would start with scientific use cases first. We wouldn't just build tech, uh, but we'd start with scientific use cases and really try and uh, have a set of goals every six months, right? So things change over time. We didn't want to try and boil the ocean. We wanted to start with a clear set of goals for six months and then evaluate how that went and then continue on with our next set of goals for six months just to show uh, progress. Um, so what we're trying to do here is we're, we're looking at interrupt between these four distinct um, uh, uh, stacks. Uh, we're trying to break down the sort of silo effect between stacks and make sure that a, a researcher um, can ask questions about data that lives across these, these cloud-based stacks. So we're looking at interrupt specifically narrowing down of, of what we're starting with in that first six months. We're looking at interop between four uh, distinct portals um, and three workspace environments, um, the latter being uh, Terra, Seven Bridges, and Gen3. We're not trying to solve every problem of interoperability. We're not trying to look at every single e API that we could uh, harmonize between um, the silos, between the stacks. Um, instead, we're looking for you know, improvements to interoperability between these, these groups. Um, so what are we doing in the first six months um, since October? Um, the first effort that's due in April is all about finding a lightweight mechanism by which data portals um, can hand off search results uh, to compute environments. Um, and that sounds a little odd, but the idea is that we want to enable a researcher to go to the Kids First portal, Anvil portal, BDCAT portal, or CRDC, find data that they're interested in, essentially shopping cart that into a workspace environment so they can collect data from uh, Biodata Catalyst or Anvil, uh, collect references to data and metadata in their workspace environment um, in one of the compute environments like Terra, Seven Bridges, Gen3, um, and then do a compute on it, right? So in terms of what are we working on to make that happen, Again, we're not trying to boil the ocean and, and work on every API for interoperability, but we're looking specifically at PFB and DERS um, as mechanisms to send that sort of search result from the portals to one of these compute environments. Um, like I mentioned before, we started not with the technical aspects, but we actually started asking the question, is this interoperability, is the ability to compute on data that I find in multiple um, stacks, um, Anvil or Biodata Catalyst, is that something that people actually want, that researchers are actually um, needing to advance their research goals? And so we started with uh, establishing the charter um, example of researcher use cases, and I was very happy, and I know other people were very happy too, to see very rich, very nuanced, very interesting scientific use cases um, come together with named researchers and specific research questions um, that can, that desired the ability to combine data across multiple projects. So you see one on the right, um, the interop contact um, is Allison Heath for this one. Um, and this is a, an example researcher use case that's combining uh, Biodata Catalyst data with Kids First data. 
Um, so right now we have six high quality researcher use cases that are really driving uh, what we're working on. And you can see the charter for more. Um, in terms of, again, the first six months of this group, we're trying to establish the minimal sort of API and uh, conventions necessary to have the portals, talk to the workspace environments and let a researcher um, essentially collect um, data from multiple um, portals, multiple projects and compute on it. So the, the APIs that we're working on there, again, are DERS and uh, the PFB sort of container uh, for sending search results um, to a portal. Um, we're seeing technical um, uh, progress from each of the stacks. Um, so on the left-hand side, this is the sort of data portals and the right-hand side is workspaces. And little by little, we're seeing progress from each of the groups. Um, we think by the time we have the April meeting, we won't have production implementations of this send the data to a workspace environment uh, fully completed. Uh, but what we should see is at the very least, uh, we're going to see um, you know, one stack end to end uh, implemented. Uh, we're likely to see prototypes and other stacks in, uh, for the stack that isn't um, uh, uh, scheduled to have this functionality. We're hoping to get feedback um, that will be extremely valuable uh, for continuing to refine things like DERS and PFB. In terms of the researcher use cases, just last week, we did a touch base on, based on our technical progress, how are we doing with the researcher use case? Um, we saw that there is um, progress being made, uh, significant progress being made in three out of the six uh, use cases uh, that I list here. And we anticipate by the April meeting to get updates and, and see progress uh, from the other three as well. Um, the challenges that we're facing here, are, again, um, refining and um, giving feedback back to the standards that we're using, like DERS. We're trying to get that to a DERS 1.1 um, to better incorporate GUID support um, that's necessary for uh, the fence instances that store the data, uh, fence and index D instances that store the data for these projects. Um, we're also collecting and soliciting feedback on PFB, which is that uh, a key component that links the portal to the workspace environment. Um, the, the big thing here in terms of challenges is it looks like we're making a lot of progress um, on the researcher use cases, but we also want to make sure that the things that we're doing are long term and sustainable and will allow many, many users um, uh, to do uh, this sort of operation of finding data and sending it to a workspace. So to that end, you know, our goal here is really to get these things into production. Um, and not do sort of um, uh, a single uh, researcher use case. And so that's a challenge here is getting the prototyping that we're doing into uh, production systems. And longer term also seeing how RAS fits in, that's something that we didn't tackle in the first six months. Um, I think I'm probably, Mo, I'm probably over time here. So I just wanna say this, this particular slide shows information on our charter. It'll link out to the technical plan um, our meetings are every Friday and you can get more information in the agenda and notes. And we have the April online meeting coming up um, very soon. I think it's about a month away. Um, that's gonna be the opportunity where we can assess the technical and uh, researcher use case uh, progress in the first six months and target what our next six months are going to be in, in, in figuring out as a group how we're going to transition the prototypes and the, the, the code that we have um, into longer term sustainable production um, based um, uh, features of our stacks. Um, so with that, Mo, I'll, I'll hand it back to you and I'm happy to take any questions.